here tonight in the films uh, and the occasion is the nomination of Paul Maskey for the Westminster election which takes place next year 2015. So uh, we're all very proud to have Paul as our candidate. He's here on challenge. There's nobody else to put their name forward and that's an indication of the esteem that Paul's held in that nobody would, would even think about trying to compete with him. He, uh, he took that, that MP role a few years back whenever Jerry Adams left West Belfast and there's not many people could have filled Jerry Adams' shoes and I have to say Paul came with it with his own unique style and he has delivered brilliantly since then for West Belfast. He has been a great advocate for the people who are deprived, the people who are impoverished, the people who need better job opportunities, need better education. He's there for everybody and he does sterling work in this constituency for the people of West Belfast. So we look forward to next year whenever we are going to see Paul re-elected as our candidate for West Belfast. And it's also a tribute to Paul to see so many young people here tonight. We have a very vital group of young activists who are really enthused by the party and Paul's leadership has got an awful lot to do with that. He really inspires young people and it's his testimony to his leadership and his commitment and the way he carries himself that young people look up to him and want to follow in his footsteps. I'm very privileged that the party in West Belfast has indeed again put their trust in myself to, to take forward the campaign to become again the, the next MP for, for West Belfast. That's down to the people of West Belfast. Hopefully next May um, we will ask them again to put an axe beside Sinn Féin and I have the privilege that my name is attached to Sinn Féin for that election. So it's a great privilege and a great honour as always to stand for Sinn Féin no matter what at any level, whether it's council or it's assembly or are indeed Westminster. And I think we have a very hard task in front of us. We have a hard task representing all of our constituents, but we do it and we do it at the best of our ability. And time and time again, people have put their faith in us. And I'm glad again, as I say, just that Sinn Féin has put their trust in me. Um, throughout your speech, except the speech for yourself, referenced heavily the Tory cuts, this onslaught that's coming to this community. How important do you believe that's going to be in the campaign? Well, there's no doubt Sinn Féin is on the right side and opposing the Tory welfare cuts because it's quite clear to any of us and we're all in our constituency office on a day and daily basis and we know the suffering goes out on there within society and if the Tories got their way and were implemented their cuts in the north here people will be de devastated there will be much more um, food banks there will be much more unemployment and there will be even a greater amount of money not being spent in our local economy more, creating more unemployment that's not what we're about we're about protecting the most vulnerable people within society whether well, it's the working poor people with disabilities or people who are unemployed. We have a task to protect them people. They have put their faith in us. They have put their faith in Sinn Féin and we want to deliver for them. We want to deliver a stability for them where they can get on with their lives as much more as anybody else. And so I'm for the Tory welfare cuts and we certainly are opposing it. I have to say it was great when I looked around this room tonight, a packed room full of Sinn Féin agonists, but what gave me great courage was the amount of young people, young activists who are out on a day and daily basis, who are at universities, but they're continuing on the struggle. They believe in Sinn Féin and I have no problem whatsoever that they will be out with me, wrapping every single door to attract as much votes for Sinn Féin, come what may. Okay, well, I was delighted to be here to speak at the selection convention for uh, Paul Massey in the we upcoming Westminster election. He's a sitting MP. I believe he'll do well. As he said himself, he wants every single vote out because this is the heartland uh, of republicanism. It's Jerry Adams' seat. You know, no better person to take it over than Paul. Uh, he was picked for that very reason. Uh, he was capable. They knew he would be uh, do the work and they that he would uh, do it as well as Jerry. Um, there was a great turnout, there was a lot of young people which I thought was uh, absolutely brilliant. We're now getting into another generation of uh, Republicans. Uh, Paul has done uh, massive things. One of the points I thought he made and I thought was very important is he said, you know, there's certain people who say nothing has changed. All you need to do is take a trip around, uh, and especially if you're my age, a trip around West Belfast and look at the changes that have been brought about by Jerry Adams and uh, by Paul Maskey, by the MLAs in the area and by councillors. And this is what it's about, it's about changing people's lives. So I'm delighted that he, that he got elected. Uh, he's uh, from a well-known family. Ironically, 
He's from uh, North Belfast and he's uh, representing West Belfast and I'm from West Belfast representing North Belfast. But that's the way we are in North and West Belfast. They've always joined together like twin constituencies, uh, especially in terms of nationalism. And that's the way we'll be getting into this election as well. Uh, we can't be complacent. We want to get out there. We want to get as many people uh, voting as is possible. And, uh, you know, it's an auspicious time. There's a vote going on in Scotland tonight. And whatever happens at that uh, vote today, uh, we'll find out tomorrow. The one thing is for sure, it will bring uh, big changes uh, here. And we are agents to change. Paul Massey is an agent to change. And that's what we're all about. So we're looking forward to that result. We're looking forward to the more changes that we're going to bring about. We've brought massive change up tonight. And we will continue that. There's no miracle in United Ireland. We're out for United Ireland. But we are preparing for what that United Ireland uh, will look like. And that's what, the, what our job as elected representatives and as activists uh, is.